I'm Neil Fahey, I'm visually impaired, I ride on, on the back of the tandem. Uh, I'm reigning Paralympic champion for the one kilometre time trial. Uh, and I'm, I'm Pete Mitchell, I'm Neil's pilot and we're part of the Great Britain cycling team and we've both been selected for the kilometre time trial and the road race in Rio this year. Pete and I have started working together not long after the, the London Games and during that time we've competed in three world championships and, and won six gold medals and I also represented Scotland at the Commonwealth Games where I won two gold so it's been, been a busy time. As a track sprinter there aren't many options, there was very few to be a full-time cyclist so I decided to apply for the paracycling programme as a tandem pilot as I was aware a number of sprinters had done so previously um, and they seemed happy to have me and, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's gone really well. I've been pretty fortunate to be honest that I've always got on fairly well with my pilots um, and you have to to an extent because you spend so much time training together when you're away at camps you're rooming together and yeah we do get on well I mean <laughs> ironically we hardly speak when we're not <laughs> when we're not on the tandem together we do go months without speaking but maybe that's yeah a good thing <laughs> I, I love the excitement of a Paralympic Games just that you know huge multi-sport event that you don't get very often and um, so many people together in the village it's just an amazing experience and you know something I've been fortunate to have done two times before and yeah I can't can't wait to get out there and just experience the games and then obviously the thrill of competing in front of a hopefully full crowd and so we only really have one event we're targeting um, and one kilometer time trial is simply one race one go you know there's no heats or anything it's just one race so we have one chance for you know four years essentially for that one start. I mean the public image of disabled sport has definitely changed over the past you know four to eight years and um, the Beijing Paralympics was a real stepping stone and then obviously the coverage that we got in London was phenomenal and suddenly a lot of the nation was sitting and watching. And um, what's, what's interesting is how you forget how people came to be on the programme so sometimes when we're around sort of the dinner table talking about people's lives and stories, you realise that most have had major life-changing events. And I, you know, I'm sat here among these people just kind of thinking about training and it, and it puts everything in perspective, definitely. My image of Paralympic sport I always remember is the guy in London high jumping with one leg, which was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. And you know, it's alright to say that's incredible because you know it is, it's phenomenal.